simple interest it's an application of sequence and it's an application of arithmetic sequence for us now we'll try to understand simple interest with a set of questions and I'm taking very simple values for you so that you really don't need a calculator to calculate right and I don't want you to get lost in those calculations I want you to understand the concept okay that's most important for me at the moment now following this we'll have a small quiz and then a test okay now simple interest these are the two formulas which we are going to use in simple interest first is the interest earn interest is earned based on the principal amount invested rate of interest and the time for which it is invested it is P times R times T more an amount you invest more interest you get for more time you invest more interest you get and if the rate of interest is higher of course you get much higher interest what important thing here is you only get interest on the money invested you don't get interest on interest that becomes compound interest which we'll talk about in the next chapter okay here simple interest so I is the interest earned and P is the principal amount invested R is the rate of interest simple interest per annum per year and T is time in years okay now if you invest that much of P amount in and then you get interest of PRT then at the end of the year you get your amount plus the interest and that gives us this formula where A says so it is like combination of saying that amount is equals to principal invested plus interest earned that is PRT right so amount at the end of the year you get your invested amount principal invested and all the interest you earn right so if I factor out P from here then I get 1 plus RT and that's how we write this formula but basically the amount at the end of the year is invested principal plus all the interest earned on the principal I hope you understand and let me add this on the side as the third formula for simple interest which we'll use right since I have not written this I'll use it more so that you get to know this also correct but remember these are all both are same things right here distributive property P times 1 is P and P times RT is PRT so both are same things so they are like kind of same thing correct now let's go through with our problems suppose you invest thousand dollars that earns simple interest of five percent per annum the principal amount is yeah so let's get the basics right I don't really want to jump into problems without getting the basics clear right principal amount is thousand dollars the amount invested so like P is equals to thousand dollars remember that whatever you invest is your principal amount the interest rate is 5% per annum that is our interest rate now when we say 5% I can write 5% per annum that means per year right here you have to be careful sometimes they say interest will be paid only at the end of the year sometimes interest is 5% per annum but it could be paid even in between that means if you invest for only six months you get five percent uh, half of it right so half because five percent per annum is for 12 months right for six months will be half of this right so like that you can calculate interest also but at times there could be policies which will say well no interest will be charged if you withdraw the money before a year right in that case you won't right so in that case it becomes a discrete function that you can only get the amount after the year so the amount sits let's say you invest thousand dollars now it is thousand till the year ends and once the year ends it becomes thousand fifty in between doesn't move so you can't connect those points this is kind of important it is truly and purely a discrete function if you put a condition that the interest will be paid only if one full year is there money money is invested for if it is broken in between no interest right otherwise you can connect it that's a very fine point 
So let's move on. The interest rate is 5% per annum. Whenever we use R in this formula, then we say 5% is R equals to 5 over 100, right? So we don't really write 5%. We write this as 0 0.05, 5 over 100. So in the formula, we'll use 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is our interest rate as far as the formula goes, okay? Now, because I've seen this mistake being committed by students, they write 5 there and they get way off results, right? How much interest would you earn in first year? Okay, so first year interest earn. So we use the first formula. We say I equals to principal amount. Principal amount is $1,000, right? 1000 And rate, as I said, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. And first year means only one year. So we write times 1. And if you calculate this, 1,000 means one decimal moves, 1, 2, one more place, $50. So we get $1.50. So first year, the interest on this $1.50 on investment of $1,000 at 5% per annum. First two years. If it is two years, then we use the same formula. I equals to PRT, I equals to P is principal 1,000, rate of interest 0 0.05, but the time is two years, right? So it'll of course double and we'll get $100, right? Now, question four, what amount would you have after two years? You guessed it, the amount you have is your money invested plus the interest earned, right? So after two years, you'll have your money invested was thousand plus hundred dollars, right? Which is the interest earned in two years which is $1,100, correct. So this is one way of doing it, and the other way is to use this formula straight, right? So let me use the formula for you and write down the answer here. So after two years, we'll use the formula, we'll write A equals to, principal is $1,000, right? 1,000 times one plus R is 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and time is two. So we'll multiply this by two, and then calculate using calculator, right? So, so this is 10, this is 1.1, 1.1 times 1000 is 1100. Let me write 1000 first. 1100, oh sorry, 1100, okay. Dollar 1100. Correct? So that's how we can calculate the total amount after two years. If it was after five years, I would have multiplied this by five and calculated. Simple as that. Or I could do first calculation for interest for five years, like I did earlier, and then add my principal amount. Correct? Here I use the formula A equals to principal amount plus interest earned, which is PRT. And on this side, I use my formula A equals to principal into 1 plus RT. I hope you are absolutely clear about simple interest and its simple formulas to use. We'll explore this more in coming questions. There will be 10 more questions to go. And by the time, you'll be fine the simple interest. And then we'll move on to compound interest. All the best.